Hello YouTubers, so we'll be working on our 2005 Z4. Uh, what you're going to do today, we're going to service this transmission oil, uh, change the transmission fluid, sorry. And uh, first thing first, of course, we lifted the car on the jacks and we got the jack stands, safety first. So this transmission pan is right here. Uh, we're going to drain the fluid and then we're going to reseal it and put the pen back We're going to add the fluid back into it and then we'll show you a step-by-step -step guide Guidance how to service your transmission fluid. All right. All right So me and my brother we are under the car. We are going to open all these torque screws. It's about 22 of them Once we unscrew them, we're gonna drop the pan and we'll show you what to do next. All right, guys, we got our, uh, the, I'm sorry, the flute pan down here. Uh, what we're going to do, we're going to clean it so we can put up our RV uh, gasket maker. And once uh, we clean this up all around it, uh, we'll show you how to put down the gasket maker. All right, so our pan is ready and clean. Now we're going to use our RTV gasket maker, put it all around it. Um, and after that, we're going to make sure that every edge and corner is covered so when we put the gasket pad i mean sorry the trans pan back up there is all covered and it's not gonna leak okay let's go ahead and do this and we'll show you what to do next all right so we got the uh gasket maker all around the gas i mean the the pan the transmission fluid pan uh we're gonna let that dry for at least 20 30 minutes and then we're going to put this back uh, on the vehicle and uh, next would be adding the fluid into the transmission, all right? And also just to uh, add a note into it. So while we're using this righty stuff, 90 minute gasket, you must wait 90 minutes before adding the fluid back into the transmission. You wanna let this gasket maker uh, sit and dry for 90 minutes and then add the fluid into your transmission. All right, so now we're putting the pan back in the place where it's supposed to go. And we're going to put this, uh, uh, the screws back in its place. This is about 22 of them. Once we're done with this, we're going to add the uh, transmission fluid into it. All right, guys, now we are ready to uh, add the fluid into transmission. Here we have that uh, fill hole. And as you can see, we just got that connected. We're going to go ahead and pump the fluid into the transmission now. So far, we have added about five quarts of transmission fluid. We're gonna pump it in. And after a few, so let's say right now it's sitting at one liter. So once we're down to, once it takes all the way in, we're gonna start the engine, shift gears, and then uh, we'll show you what to right, do now. We're gonna go ahead and start the engine so we can shift the gears. very important that you shift the gears so the fluid can go into the transmission. All right, so we're filling this up. Now, as you can see, there's a split side. Now it's overflowing and dripping. Now what you wanna do, you wanna go ahead and put the block back in, tie it up all the way. We are done here. Please give this video a like and subscribe. We'd appreciate your feedback and appreciate if you would give us a like. Thank you.